sip of each. I would prefer Pepsi, but that's not complete. Let me have these complete cans. After having the complete cans, now I prefer Coke. That's strange and interesting, but let me explain. Coke has the biggest market share, but like me, majority in a Pepsi challenge in history, and they did market it also. Like when you take one sip of each, you prefer Pepsi. But when you uh, like take a complete can, complete bottle, then you will prefer at the end Coke. Now, what happens is actually we are biased when we take one bite of sweet and one bite of salty or spicy item. So we prefer sweet. But we might, when we take a complete course, complete meal of salty and spicy and sweet item, then we prefer salt and spice over sweet. Practical example, you attend a party or ceremony and there are so many items, fish, chicken, uh, fry, rice, there's so many salty and spicy item. And at the end, obviously, there's some sweet also. But when it comes to feedback, at the end of the party, like 99% of the people, they talk about fish, chicken, salty and spicy item, the biryani was wow, the chicken. Like, nobody cares about the sweet, although everybody had sweet, but nobody talks about sweet. This would happen. Now, if you reverse the situation, let's say you take one spicy chicken, one bite, and one bite sweet, definitely the sweet will take over this salt and spice. And this is what happened in Pepsi and Coke case. Pepsi is a little bit sweeter than the Coke. So definitely, and they, that's what I said earlier, that they did market also in the Pepsi challenge. So when you take one sip, obviously Pepsi wins. Uh, this concept was very well explained by Malcolm Gladwell in his book, The Blink. Blink, the power of thinking without thinking. Hope you got the point. Uh, you people are awesome. Stay awesome and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.